This challenge is all about quick cooking. It's five minutes. It's all these ingredients I have laid out. This is a flash fried lamb steak with a quick bean stew. I have five minutes on the clock, which I'm gonna start right now. We are rolling, so let's get cooking. Now, pan on, quick heat. We need it in the pan right now. So, right up to temperature, add a little drop of oil to the pan. We wanna get that right up to heat. We've got a lamb steak. Now this comes from the lamb leg. You get a lamb steak that is beautiful and quick to cook. So to flavor it up, we have some garlic. I'm just taking nice thin little slices of that garlic and we're gonna get lovely flavor from the garlic. And to add to that flavor, we've also got some rosemary. Rosemary and lamb are absolute classics. People normally think of lamb as something that is slow cooked in the oven. This one is all about a point of difference, which is quick cooking. So rattle through that rosemary and you want nice little slivers of rosemary. You don't have to worry too much. It's all about the flavor and adding the flavor in here. It smells so wonderful and aromatic as soon as you start chopping that herb. Straight into our lamb. I am now at the four minute mark. We've oil in the pan, we've the rosemary and the lamb all looking good. What else am I missing? Drop of balsamic vinegar. Give that a little drizzle in there. Sweetness and acidity from the balsamic vinegar. Also some olive oil. Just a little drizzle and we're gonna get straight in there, give it a good massage and make sure that all that flavor gets in there. Now there is a little bit of fat that runs through this lamb steak and you wanna render that out. So we need to get straight in there with all these flavors into that pan. It should be up at a nice sizzling temperature, which I'm pretty glad it is. Give the hands a quick wash. Make sure they're nice and clean. That lamb is cooking away and we're gonna leave it to sear on that one side while we prep the, the bean stew essentially. So for that we have cherry tomatoes. Now the cherry tomatoes are not only gonna be absolutely delicious in here but they're gonna add sweetness and they're gonna to help to create a sauce. So slice them in half just to make sure that when they hit the pan all those lovely juices come out. Bean stew needs some beans and I'm using some cannellini beans which are drained and rinsed from a tin. They're gonna go in with these tomatoes and what I love most about this dish is just how adaptable it is. I have some spinach, but you could, use, you could use kale, some rainbow chard, whatever you can get your hands on. This goes in alongside that lamb, which at this point should have a nice sear on it. I know it's only been in there a few seconds, but yeah, we're getting some lovely color. You want that color before you turn it over. So that's what you're after. Give it a little shake with all those tomatoes in there. And now it's time for our beans. So beans go straight in here. This is a portion for about one person. And it's gonna be so delicious. The smells that are wafting up. It is absolutely gorgeous. Two minutes and 20 seconds to go. I think I've got all my ingredients. The next thing we need to add in here is some stock. So come back over here and have a look. We're gonna add a little veggie stock. Remember, we've got all that great sear on the other side. So don't worry too much about the other side now. We're gonna get in there with some salt and some pepper. Give it a good drizzle. Heat back up high on that pan. You wanna get it straight up there and sizzling. Keep that seasoning going and make sure that it's gonna taste absolutely gorgeous. Next ingredient at this point is some spinach. A good handful of spinach into that pan. Don't be afraid of using too much spinach here because as soon as it goes into that pan, it's just gonna slowly wilt down. So just help it along. Just turn it and make sure that it gets coated with those great beans the tomatoes and the lamb, and it smells so wonderful at this point. I cannot tell you, this is where they need to invent smell-o-vision because it is wafting my way and it's wafting your way and it's gonna be so gorgeous. Right, time check, one minute and 25 seconds. Give that pan a good shake. This is the time to take a little bit of time in the pan and allow those tomatoes to break down. You can press them with the back of your tongs. Your lamb should be cooking away nicely. I'm looking for a lovely sort of pink in the middle of my lamb, so don't worry about this too much if it's not perfectly cooked all the way through. I like it to be nice and rare. This smells wonderful. It's starting to come together and look gorgeous. We've one minute left on the clock. I'm starting to feel a bit confident, so I'm gonna take my time. I hope I don't regret that. <laughs> okay, so lamb is looking good at this point. I'm actually gonna take it out and slice it up. I think we should be good, yeah. Look at that, gorgeous lamb. Look how sweet and delicious that looks. So just take this nice slivers, and beautifully pink in the inside. If you had more time, of course, you could leave it to rest, but look how pink and gorgeous that is in the middle. I really think with lamb like this, you wanna just give it a generous seasoning once it comes off that pan. We are 20 seconds, 26, 26 seconds away from the, from the finish. This is looking gorgeous. I'm gonna serve this straight out into our bowl. Oh my goodness. 
bean stew in absolutely minutes and it looks spectacular. I've got 13 seconds. We were going, to right, going right up to the wire. Okay, straight on with those lovely little slivers of lamb right over the top. And then just to finish it off, a tiny last touch of sea salt with two seconds to go. And there you have it, my friends. Done, bean stew, looking gorgeous, a meal in minutes.